Hey YouTube, what's up? Just doing a quick uh, meter teardown video. As you can see, it's a uh, Centron uh, Itron meter. Um, this is a Class 200 uh, Form 2S meter. It's the type uh, C1S, that's the model. Um, this isn't actually a smart meter. Uh, just because it's digital doesn't mean it, it's a smart meter, which I've heard quite a few people say, oh, it's digital, that means it's a smart meter. Nope, this is a... Uh, it's actually a TS1 enabled meter, which means it communicates over power line, and all it does is send its readout once a day. Um, it's like I said, it's not a smart meter, so they can't send anything to it. That would be TS2 module, but this was made in uh, two of 2013, so it's relatively new. It's not that old. As you can see on the back, there's your prongs. There's your uh, potential disconnect. Uh, just go ahead and open it up. Oop, this is going to be hard. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Just turn the base. As you can see in here, once it's off, it's pretty much still the same thing. Um, you actually have to squeeze it like this to pop the pins, which I'll have to put the camera down in order to uh, actually do that very easily. So give me a second. It's not the easiest thing to do. There we go. Almost out. And here we go. So as you can see, there's the top. On the inside, there's really nothing else. And the only reason I have this blacked out is this was actually just pulled from service. It's going to be recycled, but don't want the serial number shown just since uh, it's uh, being recycled. But anyway... As you can see here, there's the turtle logo, because like I said, it's a TS1 uh, module which communicates over power line. Um, which if you don't know what power line is, it's basically sending signals through the actual uh, power lines. So essentially it's power line communication. But as you can see in here, there's the, uh, uh, the lines going through the uh, CT in there, because it is a self-contained uh, meters there's no external CTs it's pretty basic um, I don't really want to tear it down too much past this because it doesn't look like there's much you can pull out without uh, disconnecting stuff but uh, yeah you can see in there uh, let's see that's nice copper uh, <laughs> it almost looks like heat pipes but that's just solid copper uh, conductors um, going through the CT like I said and you can see in there that's that uh, uh, white thing should be what injects the power line signal because if you look at some of my other videos um, you'll see even on the other module ones uh, the GE's they have the same exact thing so I assume considering it's between an itron centron meter and then a GE meter in another video if it has the same uh, capacitor that the uh, non power lines have that don't have I should say that's how it injects the signal but yeah let me actually see if I can go ahead and pop this off anymore so it looks like there's little tabs on here let's see here let me go ahead and put this down for a second see if I can pop that apart Okay, well, I was able to actually pop that apart. Um, as you can see, here's the LCD board with, let's see if this will focus. There we go. With the uh, capacitors and chips and everything on here, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what injects the actual power line signal. I could be completely wrong, um, but I assume that's what it is. Um, basic, basic board right here. Not too much stuff on it. There we go, get that to focus. This was actually just the connector piece. As you can see, it's just a bridge with compression uh, connections for the terminals. Then in here, 
There's the pipe, the conductors again, uh, with a little circuit board down there. Uh, I can't really get to that from what I can easily see. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, it's really in there, and I, I can't see how to get that out. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty basic what's in these meters. Um, not much to them really. Uh, just basic, basic stuff. I mean. If I, I could plug this in right now and it'll pass power just fine because one it's not a smart meter so there's nothing here to disconnect you and two um, since it's directly wired from each uh, from load line to load these uh, pipes there's nothing interrupting them so I could plug this in and get power of course it wouldn't be metered and it'd be illegal but you can plug this little piece in and it'll still work as uh, supplying you power but yeah it's pretty basic um these centron itron meters have a significantly different in inside compared to the ge meters um but as you can see there let's see if it'll focus it says 240 volts right on it and uh it says 001 240 volts i'm not sure what that means but it is a 60 hertz meter since we're this is in the united states pretty basic um not much to them line load and uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back together. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. That's a teardown of this uh, Centron Itron meter.